everybody and welcome to Cooper Studios. Thank you for watching Tutorial Tuesday. We're doing it a little bit different this time on an iOS device camera. I think that's how I'm going to be doing it for the rest of uh, the foreseeable future. Today I'd like to show you how to make your very own cubicle environment for to, and it's an easy way to make a sprawling office space for any movie or set or whatever you want to create with it. So I'm going to take apart this little cubicle here and show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to start with the basic uh, level of studs here. And what we want to do is just take flat pieces like this that will work for us and place them in between the, uh, the bricks. Now what you're going to end up with is studs on one side and the back of these bricks on the other side. And that creates sort of a problem. be nice if they had studs on both sides. Um, but whatever, we're not going for that type of technique. So if you want to do it the same type of scale to make these six, six, right? Yeah, six cubicles here. This is how I do it. You take two uh, four by four by eight plates, put them uh, wherever you want them. But I like to create a, um, you know what it's called, aisles in, inside the environment. So I sp try to space them equally. Now, once I place these, you have to take a four by four square and you want to put them at least four or five uh, studs away from each other so it's like that and I press down and the nice part is that they all lock in there if they don't lock straight down you just lock it into the side here now the great part about this technique is that even if you don't have all of the pieces which even I don't have all these pieces you know you can use other techniques like two two by four plates you know and stick them right here so with these I can kind of cheat and just instead of attaching them to this side we just stick them direct, straight down into the base plate so there's that one I'll create the same sort of uh, one two three four five right here like this and it's actually one of my favorite things to do because building in this technique always yields interesting results. So now we've got a basic cubicle situation here. And we have to add the desks and there are different ways to do this. But what I like to do is take tan plates and attach them to the insides of these just like I've done with all these. And then you can customize them to make them all look a little different because I've got different chairs and different screens and little um, knickknacks and stuff just so, like you'd see in a real office environment. So let's put it together. So now we're going to take what I what I like to do is some of these that if you do use two by fours like this to put them together use the large plates like this to anchor them um, together. So. See how they're, they're giving me an issue here? So once I do this, I go uh, two studs down and in the center just push and we'll have a secure connection. Just like that. Take another two by three and finish it. They're very tricky when building with this technique you really got to be forceful there just like that and now we have a little desk and it's simple so we'll do the same thing let's see on this side it's going to be more difficult because see first we'll do this but now how do I place it in there you can't really jam it in there so we have to use one of these L-shaped pieces where'd it go right here you know kind of like these or exactly like these. These are the best types that I've found. You just stick them behind there and attach them on. Now, the, you know, the, there might be some gaps or whatever, but since, since I'm using this for a movie and there's going to be sweeping long shots and I just need, everything's going to be moving, it doesn't really matter that there are little gaps, to me at least. I, I don't really care. So, you know, it gets the job done and it's efficient. Over here we'll place another 2x4. I've already attached a little laptop element to it. Right there and maybe another 2x2. Another two two. There we go. Now we've got another desk. Let me put that in the corner. Like that. Haha. -ha. 
now I've got a little little office environment. Now see this, how this is longer this way? I'm not a fan of that, so I'm going to change it right away. On some of these, there's different configurations and things, and it, 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 it's sort of an experiment in what you want to work with. So let's see here. I'll attach a stud to this element. And now I've got a little computer on a hinge. I actually want to show you one of the best computer, um, um, what would you call it, designs. I found this on the internet. I don't know who made it. But take one of these, place a little triangular slope piece onto it. Do another thing, same thing. And make sure the, the flat side is facing the stud, unlike what I did here. Place it just like that. Now, take a 2 by 2 plate, attach it to the top, and then whatever tile you want, but preferably a computer tile like this, press it forward, and I have kind of a cool, you know, like monitor look. And if you stick one stud on the bottom here, we can just put it in the corner and angle it sideways, and it looks pretty good. And then you can build different chairs. You know, there's all kinds of different ways to build chairs. I like to keep them different because it adds some personality to the whole um, the whole situation over here. So there's a chair. We'll add a chair. Oh, wait. Might be upside down. No, it's not. We'll add a chair here. This one I really like, but I'm having trouble standing it up uh, with a person on it. That works. Cool. So now we have three computers here. So now to change it up, I'm going to add little printers and things here. So... What I've done here is I've taken a hinge piece, a large one, attach a decorated tile to it, makes it look like numbers, one of these foam pieces, just like that. It's off the stud, but it doesn't matter. And then we'll take one of these black um, cabinet pieces. Oh, look, there's a sticker in there for that. I should put that on top. Stick that on the top, angle it down, and then maybe another... One like there. There we go. Now we've got office fax equipment. How exciting. So I would put this in the aisle seat or aisle cubicle so everyone can use it. Take this little woman. She's over here using the fax machine. Cool. All right. What else we got? We can do little things like how about a microwave or a television? Little drawers. I always like these little, these little uh, elements from Lego because they're, they're highly detailed for this small put one of those on there and there's just add detail you know different ones I don't even know what this is what's it say it says highway patrol speeding ticket but for my movies you can't really see that in the scene that I'm gonna use so we'll put that over here that'll look good in the corner here we have another one here maybe maybe someone else got a speeding ticket while they were on their way to work Could have a little angry Lego character oh no See that? That as well is the problem with this design. They're very delicate and not really meant to be played with roughly. You you sort of have to think about it uh, going into the mindset of building a set for a movie. And that seems to work just fine. Now we'll take, uh, how about another one? Take two 2x2 two two white bricks and another slope. Little uh, piece in the middle. Little stud on the bottom and place it in between the other studs so you can angle it on the second and then you can take a little guy here maybe he's faxing something I don't know they're fun and then I like to add all the little details so keyboards for the computer of course on and an angle you know instead of the instead of just making them equal on each side we have we do that and then little plants and vases and things so Looks like this person likes to have a little plant. This is sort of like a crappy lava lamp. So put that there. What else we got? A picture of Johnny Thunder in the jungle. Great. This is what, uh, where this comes in handy. You can use the studs on the sides here to add them in like pictures that they could keep together. And if you put them in the middle, it also keeps the bricks together. So, let's see, a couple chairs. We've got a brick and a stud here with a turntable. Add, the, add a chair on top, 
and I'll just oh yeah we made less cubicles well whatever this oh yeah this guy doesn't have a chair here now he's got a chair more detail little letter envelopes um, place that here should make little inboxes and outboxes that'll be fun and um, here's a business looking person for this coffee and he's really happy I bet he's making lots of money here at work so yeah, these are just simple techniques to make a cool little office environment. Thought it'd be fun to share. Uh, if you have comments about this, let me know. You know, if you've designed a better type of office, I'd like to see it. I really love to see um, the tiled environments. You know, com going going covering them completely in these tiles. But uh, for this, I just deemed it too difficult and too cumbersome. So I just went with this technique. And it looks really good on camera. When you bring the camera down to eye level and you swoop over all of the characters, you can really see that there's depth and there's things going on, especially if you add all the little business people. And it's a lot of fun. And you can, you can make little fun things with the camel. Hump day! <laughs> it's hilarious. You know, and so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. There's going to be better tutorials in the future. I plan on showing everyone how to make the uh, Jaeger from Pacific Brick, which I've wrapped up, and it's coming soon onto YouTube. I've got tons of other tutorials coming in uh, the next couple of weeks, everybody. So if you enjoyed that, I hope you did. Please subscribe, like and share the video on YouTube, and, you know, Check out all the other good stuff from Cooper Studios at youtube.com slash coopers. I'm Alex, and I'll see you later. Uh, Cooper Studios.